We're excited to present you the Milk Revolution. Moo! Around 11,000 years ago, the lactase gene was not present in humans. So the farmers created sieves to reduce the amount of lactase in dairy products. They did it by pouring milk through the sieve to separate the fat from the liquid, then allowed it to ferment. This fermentation process reduces the amount of lactase in dairy products. Over multiple generations, we developed the lactase gene allowing us to drink milk. If you can digest milk, you can most likely trace that genetic ability through European heritage. This is because the first mutation in DNA occurred in Europe when a cytosine base was changed to a thymine base close to the lactase gene region in the DNA strand. Also, if you can digest, that means that you are like 35% of the world's population because only 35% of the world's population can properly digest lactase after the age of 7. And if you have had that gene, that meant that you would have produced up to 19% more fertile offspring compared to those who lacked it. This is what led to the spread of this gene. LECHE, or lactase persistence in the early cultural history of Europe, thought, how did this happen? Did native populations of hunter-gatherers in Europe take up farming and herding? Or was there an influx of agricultural colonists who outcompeted the locals thanks to a combination of genes and technology? Some evidence came from bone growth. When cattle were raised primarily for meat, their bones would have reached full size. When cattle were raised primarily for dairying, cows were slaughtered by their first birth so mothers could be milked. So why milk? LECHE hypothesized that dairy products in the north could be stored for longer because of the cold climates and that it would be helpful to ward off diseases with its high concentration of vitamin D. And there you have it. That's the milk, milk revolution. revolution. Now go enjoy some dairy products. Created using Powtoon.